Hey guys, welcome. As you know, we love the outdoors, but we don't hate comfort. When we're done for the day, we just want to sit. So if you're like us, you may have been eyeing Helinox's funky foldable chairs. We reviewed the smallest version last year, the Helinox Zero, and we decided we liked the chair and loved the weight, but we did feel you could tell that Helinox had to cut some corners to get that weight down to less than 500 grams. But that begs the question, which corners did they cut exactly? If you're on the fence between the Helinox Chair 1 versus the Chair 0, this one's for you. First though, let's get the obvious question out of the way. Why not just get one of these knockoffs? There's a lot of these on the market, same design, more or less, at almost a third of the price. And we're cheap, so we got one. Unfortunately though, this turned out to be one of those cases of you get what you pay for. This is what ours looked like after two years. Actually, since the fabric is now completely delaminated, it looks better than it did last year. So unless you know that you'll hardly use it, you might be better off with an original. So yeah, until someone makes a non-binary version, your choice is between one and zero. Here's the differences. The chair zero is about two centimeters wider, deeper, and higher. That's less than an inch in either direction. And it sits you about two inches, five centimeters further off the ground. So it is larger in every dimension, but the difference is so small that even the chair one still feels like some kind of microaggression towards plus sized people. Handling is just about identical, though I slightly prefer the zero for two reasons. One is that the fabric is thinner and easier to manipulate. And two is the fact that the position of this horizontal rod in the middle is fixed so you don't have to align anything. On the chair one it swivels and I feel that's just a waste of time since you never actually need it to be anything other than well straight. Weight is unsurprisingly the biggest difference. The chair one is almost twice as heavy. Well not quite half but it's definitely not a close call and a fair bit of that weight comes from the fabric so it's not just the poles that are sturdier. You can actually swap them out too uh, by the way. Put the fabric of the one on the zero and the other way around and that's inspired some people to create Helinox chair 0.5 that combines the zero seat with the one's frame. You can watch John Kelly's video up here. Kind of neat and useful for people who have a heavier build and want to add a bit of comfort and stability to the chair zero. For most people though, if you're aiming for more comfort, unless you know that you're going to be sitting on rocky surfaces, I actually think that a ground cloth is going to make more of a difference. Because I find that especially in forests and on the beach, the feet sinking into the ground is a lot more common than the structure of the chair not being sturdy enough. Helinox sells these, but Steve's been experimenting trying to DIY a lighter version, and that seems to work pretty well. As for comfort, if you put these side by side and ask people to test them both, just about everyone agrees that the chair one feels sturdier and more secure as well as a bit more comfortable. No surprises, right? Given access to both, there is no real situation where any of us would prefer the chair zero. That said, the difference between no chair and the chair zero is a lot bigger than the difference between the zero and the one, if that makes sense. And so which one's best? Well, they're both great, but there's only really one scenario where you should be choosing the zero, and that's the one where you are gonna be carrying it around yourself for a considerable amount of time, like when you're hiking. You could argue that the zero's main audience are people that are serious enough about ultralight hiking to pay more money for less comfort, but not serious enough about it to ditch chairs entirely, and that's not the biggest of niches. If that's you though, be sure to watch our review of the zero. It's a great product and the weight reduction is real. Just don't expect it to be as comfortable or as sturdy as a zero. Thanks for watching and see you next time.